The Blood Sworn Saga is finished. Readers, reviewers, countrymen, whoa, lend me your spears. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. What time do you call this? We're back. We're back, baby. We're brothers and we are back. We're back. <laughs> and we're back. We didn't stop being brothers. Two best friends that anybody, anybody could, could have. have. Anyway. Start it off, Ed. Readers. Reviewers. Countrymen. Lend us your ears. Oh. It feels good, good to not to be that. the only one filling in on all the parts. Yeah. And it's nice to not have you looking down at me, well, up at me from the corner, dressed like mm -hmm. a hobbit. Or me like a hobbit as well, or whatever else you made me look like looking through the window. You did it yourself. Anyway, everyone, please, if you'd like to, lend us your ears. <laughs> And a huge thank you to all of our Patreons. Thank you to the Pit Fighters, the First Swords, and all of the Bright Stars, Truth and Courage. Hello and welcome back to, or for the very first, first time, time to the channel. <laughs> I am Will, this is my brother Ed, and today we're talking about something very, very, very exciting. If you've somehow not seen it already, what are you doing? But Papa Gwyn has announced that he has finished yeah. writing The Fury of the Gods. The snake has landed. It has indeed, and we'll talk about the cover in a second, but first off, the book's actually finished. And so, of course, there's the whole editing process and lots of things and dillying and dallying Behind like the that. scenes work. Exactly. It's at work and, uh, and the production is in full flow. It is. And it shall be dropping mm. in our hands, on our shelves, in all bookstores near you Well, sometime I, this year. I hate to show off, but as his sons, we've already... Had a read of the Fury of the Gods, haven't oh, we? Yeah. And I have no, to say, I, I like to show off. Actually. We uh, say, so have you? Yeah. Well, to be fair, we've shared it everywhere. We yeah. we've showed off, true and proper. Mm -hmm. But yes, we are biased. But this is my favourite Papa Gwyn book of all time. Papa Gwyn is known for a grand finale mm -hmm. with yeah. Wrath and it also Time and Courage, yeah. and with Fury of the Gods, you do not know what is coming your way. It is mind blowing, and I mean absolutely mind blowing. I was actually exhausted at the yeah. end of reading Fury of the Gods. And uh, I can't wait to be able to talk about it more. It's so twist and turny, like a twisty turny thing. Mm -hmm. It's just—is that from Black Adder? It is. It is it's, yeah. it's like a maze of of snakes. Oh. And it's, talking it's about snakes, so good. And talking of snakes, we need to talk about the, the front cover. cover. So Snucker, Papa Snucker, is first awake. book we have Shadow of the Gods. We've got a big dragon on the cover. A what? A dragon. A dragon. Wow. Next up, it's a lizard with wings, but it's pretty huge. Hunger of the Gods, mm -hmm. with a big old wolf in the front. Gargo. And last up, we have Snacker, the snake. What a dragon! On the front. Uh, what a dragon! Green Daniel Green, call him. Uh, danger, danger noodle. A danger noodle. That's yeah, it. That's yeah, yeah. So Daniel Green, uh, he's got a unique way of describing the snake. And yeah. uh, to be fair, that's pretty much nailed it. He yeah. is a danger noodle. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, which cover do you prefer? Daniel Green asked the same question. And so yeah. Dragon, I'm not sure. Wolf. I am. Snake. I do suspect that the final Fury of the Gods might be my favourite cover, but I have to wait to see it in the flesh. I love the way that the the POV point changes because obviously the, the creatures are sideways on, and then you have Snarka who is confronting the reader and, and also the tiny uh, boat at uh, the bottom. Also, yeah, these are character, like individual figures, and yeah. the wolf is big compared to the figure, and then you've got a boat. Mm. And the snake is yeah. pretty big. I think for me, I think my favourite will always be Shadow of the Gods because we were so shocked oh. to really see this fully when realised. We first saw it. We, I remember us talking about the cover and thinking what it could be, and then all of a sudden Marcus Winnie dropped this in Dad's emails, and we were blown away. Oh, so, he's and, incredible! And to artist. see that for the first time, it set the bar. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, Orbit do wonderful jobs with their covers. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, they've just come out so, so well, haven't they? But uh, Fury of the Gods, guys, I've got to say, it's incredible. It is everything that we want from a Papa Gwyn book. Uh, it is, you know, taking him a while to write. It's been a really tough journey for him. Mm -hmm. And we are very, very proud yes, uh, to say that he has finished it and also proud to see, you know, see what he's accomplished over the last few years as well uh, through the tough times um, as we lost our sister. So. We're so proud of him. It's amazing mm -hmm. to read. It was a really emotional journey, wasn't it? It was. Uh, reading Fury of the Gods, but it's been so worth it. And hopefully you guys will love it just as much as we do. There are some just incredible scenes. It is very twisty-turny. And if you like Vikings, if you don't like Vikings, 
you love this anyway. And we have done a few videos in the past talking about what you should read if you like Shadow of the Gods and talking yeah. about the characters and, and the glossary as well. And we will on the channel and on the Discord, please do follow that below, be doing a read-along yeah. of the Bloodsworn Saga starting in September. With Shadow of the Gods. Mm -hmm. so. Shadow of the Gods, Hunger of the Gods in October and then Fury, Fury of the Gods yeah. in November. I know a lot of our followers haven't read them yet. They've been buying them and they, they like to wait till the full series is out. So if you want to read it with us, guys, then join mm -hmm. our read-along. September, October and November will mm -hmm. be the months of the Bloodsworn. And also, if you haven't got any copies, we do have a code, William Gwynn, which gives you 5% off at a bookshop called Books Please, which oh, is a great William name. William Gwynn, huh? I know. We, it should be the Brothers Gwynn, really, but it's for us. For, for us, not, precious. Not for us. <laughs> Ed's greatest impression Ryan. is Gollum. <sighs> You're just waiting for a moment to show well, that. Well, I'm waiting you. for when the Faith in the Fallen comes to the screen, and I will be Kraft. That is my dream. Or well, so when people say to me, "What do you want to be Vesley. when you when you grow up?" and I say, "Craft," because hmm. nice. I haven't grown up yet. But or yeah. Vesley, yeah, Vesley in Shadow of the Gods. Yeah. Do you think you could do a good Vesley? I think so. I won't pull it out yet because I don't want people to get too excited. <laughs> I don't need to clamour for uh, for this, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe at some point in the future, I'll drop the Vesley voice. That is leaving us in suspense. But everyone. We are so excited to be announcing all this news about Fury of the Gods. It's been out for a few weeks, but if you somehow haven't heard about it, all, all the news is here. And yeah, we'll be posting anything else that happens, of course, because we're very proud sons and we, we cannot wait for Fury of the Gods to be shared with the world. Mm -hmm. So everyone, and we look forward to chatting with all of you in the comments below or on our Discord channel. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled for more information. We'll be having a lot more Papa Gwyn content uh, over the next, well, over this year, really, won't it be? We so, will. Uh, yeah, it'd be awesome. It's going to be a great year. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for hopefully pre-ordering Bubba Gwyn's books. Truth and courage. Truth and courage. The brothers Gwyn. The brothers Gwyn.